Because I'm trying to find out what's going on with my daughter. Jasmine said she had a miscarriage. A couple months later, she called me back telling me I had the baby. And you've never met your daughter? The only thing I got of my daughter is a picture right here on my phone. I've been told I don't have a daughter. She might not be mine. Come on, you got to be a cold-hearted person to put somebody through some stuff like this. When you're young, you do stupid things, but this is really, really cool. Where's my daughter? Do I have a daughter? I would like to know. My nanny has been sleeping with my husband behind my back. He is like, I'm going to leave her for you. I promise we're going to get a place together. We end up having sex that night. It happened one time. We had sex about five or six times that day. I told you it happened once. He was on the phone with her, and he's trying to have sex with me while he's on the phone with her. What's up, $2 Stop. trick? What are you Stop. talking about, whore? She ain't nothing but a crazy-ass woman, Charlita. So we want to give you a lie detector test and ask you two simple questions. Did you have sex with her more than once? And did you tell her that you were going to leave your wife? You want to take that lie detector test? <laughs> Courtney, why are you here? I'm here under the circumstances because I'm trying to find out what's going on with my daughter. I don't get to see her, and it's a lot of things that's been said. I've been, I've been told I don't have a daughter. She might not be mine. And it, it's, it's crushing because it's too, much thing, too many things going on for me right now. Okay, first tell me what's going on. Are you with uh, a girl? Yeah. Are you are married, girlfriend? She's like fiance right now. She's your fiance. And she became pregnant? Yes. And you had a baby? Yes. But somebody told you you might not have a baby? See, okay, I got to tell you the full story. She, she got pregnant. I wasn't happy, but then I took this situation because I wanted to be a father. Okay, in the last five years, I lost my mother, my father, my grandmother, and my best friend. That's a lot to lose. I'm sorry for that. So... And she just giving me the runaround situation with my daughter. I have never really seen my daughter. The only thing I got of my daughter is a picture right here on my phone that I got to look at every day. And where'd you get the picture from? She sent it to me. It's like she don't want my daughter in my life, honestly. First, she said she had a miscarriage. And then months down the line, she said she had the baby. And how, how old would the baby be now? She'll be about nine months. Nine months? Yes. And you've and never I, met your daughter? No. You've never seen her? I never held her. You missed out on the first nine months of her life. I missed out her being born because in the process of her about to have a baby, she cut off all contact with me. I lost contact with this girl for like at least and three why months. Why did you lose contact with her? Because she did it. She just took off? She, no, she didn't take off. She changed her phone number. She moved from where she was and all that. So I, it was like three month, a three-month period. I was trying to track her down, trying to find out what was going on. And then like... I want to say a couple of days before she had the baby, I get a phone call, and she was like, I had a miscarriage. She got people calling me saying it, and I just took it like that, and I just locked myself away for a while. And then, like, a couple months later, she called me back telling me I had the baby, and I'm like, why did you tell me this? She said, I didn't know how you was going to react because so, much, so many things was going on right then. And then when I try to see the baby, she'll tell me her mother got custody of the baby. The baby's out of town with her grandparents in Mississippi. What does she tell you about your daughter? Does she tell you anything about I, how she acts, what she looks like? She, from what I heard, she acts like me. She, she, got facial, she got facial features like me. She frowns her face up when she mad and, and stuff like that. It's like all things that I do. And it's, it's just crushing me to know that I won't never get to see that. She wouldn't even let my mother see my baby before she died. My mom passed away last month. I tried everything possible to try to get my daughter. And this girl that you're with, how old is she? Jasmine, she's 19. Good relationship? <sighs> it's a love and hate relationship. I love her, but she hates me. She, she tries to do a lot of stuff to hurt me. Well, why does she Deliberately, hate you? I don't know. I don't know what I did. She just like try to push me away from her at all times. How does she try to hurt you? She, she say stuff, she do certain things. She do stuff that know this gonna irritate me and get me mad to the point where I'll be like, forget her, I don't want nothing to do with her. And, and it's at this point in my life right now where she got it as if I do have a daughter, I'm starting out to care and I don't want to be like that. Honestly, I've been thinking for the past couple of months, if I do got a daughter, just take me, get me for child support. That's how I feel. Since you just, you, want, you just... Since you won't let me see my daughter, just take child support for me, do something. Right. Um,
it's, it sounds like she's causing you some pain. You seem upset. I got, I got a whole bunch of things going on in my mind right why, now. Why, why be with her? I love her. But she hates you. I, I don't know. I think I'm a little messed up in the head after all the stuff going on right now. I don't know what to do. Do you want to be a father? Yeah. And you want to take I come from a close-knit family. I had my mother and my father at home. So I didn't never have to want for nothing. And that's how I want my child to be. What are you going to do if she lied to you? Right now, she, she like, currently living with me right now, and it's driving me crazy. She lives with you? It, like, basically, she's there, she there when I wake up, she's there when I go to sleep. And yeah, it, I would it's say dri- she lives with you, then. Right, and she's driving me crazy, not knowing that, why are you here and my daughter is somewhere else? That, <laughs> it don't make no sense. Well, let's find that out. Let's bring out Jasmine. Why am I hurt? Why, why you? Just tell me, why am I hurt? Where's my daughter? Do I have a daughter? I would like to know, just tell me. No, you don't have a daughter. Okay, and that's all I needed to hear. It seemed like he really wanted a baby or whatever, and I didn't want to like break his heart and tell him that he don't. When you're young, you do stupid things, but this is, this is really, really cruel. We want to give you a lie detector test and ask you two simple questions. Did you have sex with her more than once? And did you tell her that you were going to leave your wife? You want to take that lie detector test? Why would you tell the guy and lead him on for so many months, nine months? It seemed like he really wanted a baby or whatever. And I didn't want to, like, break his heart and tell him that he don't because it was like he was pushing me to tell him that he wanted me to be pregnant. So why not tell him? Because now you just devastated the guy. Here he thinks he's had a daughter for nine months. He's wondering why he can't see her. And then you come out and say it's all a big lie? I mean, you're, you, you might be young, but I can't believe that you'd be that cruel to leave this guy on. Where did you get the picture of the baby? Off the computer. picture of your baby came off a computer. This is, this is a girl that you say you love. Do you love him? Yes, but I'm You don't love me. Would you put me through all this for if you love me? That ain't love. How you gonna lie to me for nine months? And you can't look me in my face. That's how I know you a full-fledged liar. You got something to say? No. Well, how mean can you be to somebody to say, you have a child, oh, but guess what? I just lied to you. Didn't you think at some point he's going to notice that, you know, you're not pregnant? Yeah. Is that why you took off? No. Why did you take off? I mean, I just stopped talking to him because, like, my mama was telling me a lot of stuff. She was she telling was just... the truth. Tell me the truth. That's what she was telling you. Do you feel bad at all about what you did? Yes. She don't feel bad. She cold-hearted. Come on, you got to be a cold-hearted person to put somebody through some stuff like this. Is there anything you want to say to him? You could have told me last month when you know my mom was dying. But instead, you just let me drag this story on, huh? You let a woman die thinking she's never going to see her grandchild. When you're young, you do stupid things. But this is, this is really, really cruel. And you're staying with him now, right? Why would you stay with him knowing what you're doing to him? And to me, it doesn't seem like you're really too shook up about lying to him or his grandma. She don't. No, to my mother. <laughs> my grandma. Your mother. My mother. mother. His mother, dying. No emotion at all, or? What else you lie about? Got anything else to tell me? No. Do you want to be with him? 
then maybe you should like speak from the heart here. If you had one. Nothing? You got nothing? No emotion. No heart. It's that simple. Well, if this is the woman that you said you love, this is the woman that you picked to love? That's how the cookie crumbled. She, she let your mother die thinking that she had a grandchild. I know. And, and you keep talking about it, I possibly might go to jail. So no, I don't want to talk no. About it. You don't make a bad situation worse. She done made a bad situation what worse. What I'm saying, though, don't talk foolishness now. I understand. You know what the best thing that I would do if I were you? I would just say, screw you, goodbye. You said you want to be with him, right? Right? So you got nothing to say to him? Do you think that he's going to stay with you if you don't say anything? Mm-hmm. You don't think so? She don't care. So you don't care? I mean, I do care. Well, then you don't have anything to say to the guy? Wow, what is Sorry going to do? He don't want to hurt dad, so what's the point of telling him? Oh, you're so... That was heart-wrenching. Right. That, that's, I, I felt it the emotion come here. out of that. It sounds like you're the victim here, like somebody did something to you. Did somebody do something to you? No. Did he mistreat you? No. Did he ever do anything really bad to you? No. Then why do that to him? If I don't get some answers in about five seconds, I'm just going to throw you off my stage and show over. <laughs> You got anything to say? You know what, being 18 entitles you to do some dumb things, but it doesn't entitle you to be cruel. Get off my stage. <laughs> no remorse at all. Doesn't seem like she cares. She don't. So I, I would hope that you're cutting this relationship off. Are you? Yeah, I'm through. You sure? Yeah, I'm through. Okay. My Danny has been sleeping with my husband behind my back. He is like, I'm gonna leave her for you. I promise we're gonna get a place together. We end up having sex that night. It happened one time? We had sex about five or six times that day. I told you it happened once. I didn't lie about that. My guest is Charlita. Charlita, why are you here? I'm here because my nanny has been sleeping with my husband behind my back. Your nanny has been sleeping with your husband behind your back? Yes, she has. And how do you know that? I had suspicions when she was living with me. Um, everything was going great. Me and him were fighting a lot. She tried to have my back, you know, tell me that to leave him, to let him go. And she would be there for me and help me with my children still and um, not have no problems anymore. What kind of problems were you having where she'd say, He would put him. me down and um, call me names. Um, he always wanted me to be at home, never going to the store, never going anywhere without fighting with me. Um, and why didn't he want you to go anywhere? Because we had issues prior to that. Um, he had also left me before for another chick. Um, so he left you once before? Yes, he did. And you know he was sleeping with the other person? He claimed he didn't sleep with her. Um, I ended up, I, I, I gave up, I gave him what he wanted, I left him alone, let him be happy with his girlfriend, I met someone, tried to move on with my life, and um, he came back to my door one day and told me, I, I really messed up, you know, you've been really good to me, I want us to be together, I, I don't want this to happen, I want us to be a happy family, I'll never do this again to you. And I agreed, so I left the person that I was talking to alone, I crushed him, 
Um, I avoided them and tried to mend my marriage back together. Things were good at first. Um, I was pregnant, had another child. Um, after I had my baby, I needed help. So Stephanie came along, moved in with me, helped me with my children. I was doing the school thing, trying to do work. Um, she had my back really good. I mean, we got along great. Um, he would call her mean names. She would call him mean names. They would pull me in the middle. I would stand up for her against him. And I would stand up for him against her. You know, they have to get along. I needed help because I couldn't trust the fact that maybe he would try to walk out on me again. I was trying to do something for our six children. You know, you have six children together? We have six children together. Yes. Yes. And um, so so I needed the help. And I I needed someone I could trust to be there. And she befriended me, you know. And so she moves in with you, and what happens? She moved in with me, helped me with my kids, helped my kids, you know, with schoolwork and everything. Uh, My nine-year-old started coming to me, telling me that Stephanie was telling her that her daddy looks hot. And when you found out he was sleeping with your nanny, what was... At first, no, it wasn't a kind of find out at first. Um, I, I asked them both. She would say she was taking care of a family member, and he says that he was just giving me what I needed, which was space. So they both left at the same time, though. Okay, Thanksgiving. They left the house together? No, he left that morning. She left that afternoon to go take care of her sick <laughs> You know, he left that morning going to work saying that he had a change of heart right before he got off work to go get drunk, you know, to get over it, to stay at a friend's house all night. So he turns his phone off, didn't answer no messages. I left him 99 voice notes drunk telling him, I love you. I need you here. Come be with me and our children, you know. You know I have no one else here, and I don't want to be alone. And um, I called her house. I said, I know you're really sick. I know she has to help take care of you, and I'm sorry. I just want to know if she could come and help me. I had two doctor's appointments the following day. I need somebody to stay with me, okay? She says, I'm not sick. She says, I don't know what you're talking about. I haven't seen her. She probably won't be here until tomorrow. She comes and goes as she pleases. I thought, wow, I, I just got played. And so I called him again, and the same excuse from him. I get a phone call from a good friend of mine who says he went to a party with my nanny and they got drunk and they went to a motel room. The next morning, his phone was getting blown up. She thought it was him that she was talking to. It was me. I was, did you speak in a deep voice? Or? No, I was texting her. I, she was oh, like, please, okay, I miss you so bad. Please call me. Come by my house. See me. So I text back and I'm like, why would you want to see me now? You know, play the with it. Because I miss you so bad and the, the fun that we've had. I thought, wow. You know, they were good. They got behind my back like that. So I text her from my phone. And I'm like, hey, I'm at this really cool party, you know. And I'm having the time of my life. And you can tell me whatever you want to because I don't care about him no more. And she's so stupid, right? Because she tells me everything. From the get, she's like, oh, man, we were going to motels. We were staying at my friend's house. She's like, he, he really likes me, but he never said he loved me. She said he threw $2 at me and told me that he could go to a motel room and f*** him. And I was like, really? He threw $2 at her mm-hmm. and said what? Go f- me. And she did it. For two bucks? Yeah, she's a $2 trick, okay? She's a $2 trick. Okay? Uh, That so wait, she admitted that she went and slept with your husband for two bucks. Yeah, she admitted that she went to a motel room for him for two bucks. Yes, she did. What has he admitted? He wouldn't admit to anything. He said, oh, bitch, you can't prove nothing. He's, he called you a bitch? No, that's what he told her on the phone oh. in front of me. He's like, Charlita, with all my heart, I love you, and I love our kids, and we could be a good family now. And I'm like, this is number eight, dude. You know, how do I know? Your husband's left you seven other times? Yes, he has. Why do you keep taking him back? My children. <laughs> Children's what makes me go. And, and yeah, today, but if your children makes you go, then why do you need him? I don't need him anymore. I'll, if this comes out, and I'm pretty sure it will from all the detailed information, she had detailed conversations that I had with him. She said, I was sitting right beside him in the car. So the eighth, <laughs> the eighth time that he cheats, that's it. This is the proof time. Now, what has your husband admitted to what he's done with the nanny? What has he admitted to? He didn't admit anything to me until yesterday. Um, because he was determined he was going to try to get out of coming. He said, okay, I'm going to tell you something right now. I slept with her, but uh, 
It was at my friend's house. It was a party. We got drunk. She jumped on top of me and seduced me, told me you was doing this and that, and that's why I did it, and I'm sorry. So one time. That's what he's trying to say, yeah. So one, do you believe him? No. All right, well, she's here. Let's bring her out. He was on the phone with her, and he's trying to have sex with me while he's on the phone with her. What's up, $2 trick? What are Stop. you talking about, whore? She ain't nothing but a crazy-ass woman, Charlita. You are the cop. Get off my stage. tell you something okay Stop. listen to me for two seconds you're supposed to be the one that people feel sorry for here okay you're not doing yourself any favors by attacking somebody by swearing constantly if she you, knew she was gonna get it you know what you, you don't you don't seem like you're too upset about the whole oh, situation oh i'm worse than upset right now i'm tired of it. i'm tired of it. for two months for two months they did not sleep in together my kids were in the you know hospital what, and but everything. You, listen to me. And you acted like you were there for me and you were at my house sleeping with him. Listen to me, though. It's chum trick. You know, I'm a, Two dollar trick. The point that I'm trying to make is you let your husband cheat on you seven times before. He left you. He's sleeping around. He's leaving you for anybody and everybody, and you keep taking him back. There were uh, everybody and everybody. Uh, this, this is my nanny. She lived in my home, knew my business. This, this is more personal than another trick on the street would ever dare to be. She knew my life inside doesn't and out. Does it matter who your husband's sleeping with other than you? Yeah, it does matter. But I'm saying, he, he does it. It does matter, but this is my back. nanny. This is different. How about the fact that she your husband... She manipulated How about the fact that your husband, the father of your children, throws $2 at a woman and says, sleep with me? And she cried about it. But this, but this is the guy that you choose to bring children into the world with. Let's bring your husband out. I told you it happened once. I didn't lie about that. You know, I don't want Stephanie. I never wanted Stephanie. I never gave Stephanie any hint. Of saying, look, I'm in a relationship with you. She wouldn't be so obsessed I with you. She would not be so obsessed with you right now if it just happened one time and it was a two dollar thing. What can I say, I'm Charlotte? I'm not convinced. What can I say? If, if I, it I don't comes know out why that she's it obsessed. Was, I will apologize to you. I don't know why she's I'll, I'll okay. Well, I don't her. obsessed with me because I'm not obsessed with that stupid ass. That's all it is to it. She ain't nothing but a crazy ass woman, Charlotte. That's all it is to it. You know she's what? crazy. Here's here's the deal. You're married to her, right? Married. Been together 12 years, married nine. Okay. You got six children together. Exactly. Okay. I got a good job. Just started my life out. So my, girl... my question is, if you got six kids, this is your wife, you've been together for 12, married for nine, why are you cheating with her? Why are you even sleeping with the nanny even the one nanny. time? Let me explain myself. I want you to leave the stage for a second, all right? <laughs> Now you got all the chance in the world to talk. Now I'm going to ask you. You're cheating on her. Yes, you, I did. You leave, you come back, you come. Now the nanny, she's helping you take care of your kids. She was at one time. So was that a smart decision to sleep with somebody that's taking no, care of your kids? No, it wasn't. That was my stupidity. Well, why are you it? was doing a mistake. It? It, never, it happened one time, never since Could then. Did you throw $2 at her? No. The $2 thing she's talking about, throwing $2 at her? No. She wanted a relationship. I joked around with her and said, look, you ain't nothing but a $2 trick like that. That way, you know, she knows it ain't no relationship thing here. I don't have no feelings for you as a relationship. It was a mistake. It happened. Whatever. So you're saying you only slept with her one the time. one time. One time, and I have not seen her since the end of December. That's it. And, and that was because you were drunk, right? Yeah, I was drunk at a party. And she seduced you, right? Basically. Because you, you tried to fight it off. 
I know I ain't saying I'm a tall fight at all. I was drunk. It was there. It happened. I'm gonna ask you to leave the stage. I'm gonna talk to the nanny. Why don't you sit down, Stephanie? So why don't you tell me what's going on? Um, I had started living with Danny and Charlita to help take care of the kids. Um, at first, you know, me and Danny didn't get along. Right around Thanksgiving time, me and Danny were left with the kids. He looks at me and he goes, let's make a bet. I was like, okay. He was like, I say Charlita will be home, you know, this time, which was, he gave her, you know, 9.30, 10 o'clock. I gave her, you know, 7.30, 8 o'clock. She got home about his time frame. So the agreement was, you know, if he won, he, I'd go out on a date with him. And if I won, he took her out. Well, he won. Why would you be dating a married man, though? I really... Especially one that you're employed by. I... They were like, you and him have got to get along, and we started... I mean, here you are, this young, pretty girl, and you have, you know, knucklehead one and knucklehead two, and <laughs> why would you even want to get involved with that situation? I was, you know... Were you attracted to him? In a way, yes. Physically, or...? Um, his personality. His mainly. personality. I mean, he is cute. I give him that. He's cute. He's a lot better than most guys that you know I've ever really talked to or seen. Really? Yeah. Like one of my exes is extremely ugly. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so you made the bet, we made and the he bet. won. He won. Right before we had a chance to go on the date, we made another bet, and that bet was you know the same time about the time she'll be home, and then. And this if, bet was for what? For me to stay a night with him in a hotel room. And to have sex with him. But the sex was not in it. Well, if you're going to spend the night in a hotel, hotel room, room with a married man, what else are you doing yeah. in there? He picked me up. We went to the hotel. He got dressed and ready. You know, we went to the movies, ate dinner. He bought me a belly ring up from the mall. A what? A belly ring. A belly ring. Yes. Do so you still have it? Yeah, I've got, I've got both of them he got me. Can, do you have it on now? I have one on now, yes. Oh, very nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so you would say Danny's a classy guy? Uh, not really. <laughs> Did you go to the motel? Yes. Did you have sex? Yes. So we want to give you a lie detector test and ask you two simple questions. Did you have sex with her more than once? And did you tell her that you were going to leave your wife? You want to take that lie detector test? <laughs> So you had sex with them multiple, multiple times. Multiple times that night. Yes. How many times all together in this course of this relationship? Oh God, I would say maybe a little over twenty, if not more. You're almost like he's your boyfriend. Yeah. Did you ever, at some point, feel bad? Yes, but he was. What like, did you feel bad about? The fact, you know, we were lying to Charlita about it. He was like, "I'm gonna leave her for you. I promise. When I get my money from taxes, we're gonna get a place together. I'm gonna try to convince her to give me three of the kids. That way, it gives her, you know, not as many kids to deal with." And I'm sitting here falling for it. I mean, I'm 19, I'm young. And this is what you wanted. You wanted Danny and three kids. Really? Pretty much. Okay. Does it hurt you when he says, you hear him say he threw $2 at you, that you, yeah. you know, that you're a $2 whore, um, that he denies he slept with you once? And he slept with me more than once, and he knows I that. believe you. I, I don't think anybody doubts you. <laughs> you know, Danny's a dirtbag. <laughs> um, this is a man you say you love and he just says all these incredibly bad things about he's you he's only doing it just to look good to his wife and try to not look like you know the dog that he really is okay let's bring uh, Danny out and you can say whatever you want to him 
so you only slept with me one time. Sit. That's a lie, and you know it. Happen, whatever. I don't have no feel. No. Listen, listen, listen. Don't be like Charlotte. Just listen one second. I'm just uh, cutting people off. I don't have no feelings for you. I didn't have no relationships feelings for you, period. I never said I threw two dollars at you and said let's have sex. I said, quote, I call you a two dollar trick and we joked around about it in front of. I don't have relationship feelings for you. I don't want to be with you. If things don't work out between me and Charlotte, I still don't want you nowhere in my life. For 30 days, you didn't hear from me. I didn't text you. I didn't call you. The only way you got my number is you went through my wife's phone, got my number. You said, call me. And I said, no, I don't want to call you right now. I have this over here. Why do I have all this drama and I'm going to end up with your drama as well? You know, why, one why thing, seven, one I thing, told you 30 one days, damn man. thing, you days. sat there you, and told me time after time you, can't you, you cannot were be leaving that her stupid. for me, so you I don't want to hear that you that lying. You All you do is lying. You're the one that's getting aired on national TV about being a dirty dog. I threatened, days, when man. I threatened you to tell everybody and to tell everything, what did you do? What? Call me, call me. So I, I got, I got, you. I got six kids, Stephanie. I got six kids. I got to pay child support with. I love the hell out of my wife. I have you no. Love, you love her, but yet you sat there and called her a slut, and all you. this. Nothing. You sat there and told me. How are you gonna tell me what the hell I feel? Because I don't have you nothing for you. You sat there and told me to. Stop. Don't you, as a man, uh, how old are you? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven years old. She's a nineteen-year-old girl, right? Right. You're, she's not married. You're the one that's married, right? right? You're the I, one with I the six up. kids. So you're the one who slept with her. Yeah, I okay? messed up. I'm not now, saying this. You never told her one time, I'm going to leave Charlita for you. Nope. That's really? a lie. Nope. You and, you only, and you only slept with her one am I time. That, th am, I'm not that stupid. I'm I slept with her one time. Apparently one time. One time. Drunk. <laughs> I never said I was leaving my old lady. That's Child a lie. support going to pick me in the grave now. Oh, well. Who believes this guy? I really don't care which one of all. Who believes her? I really don't care. I know what I know. You know what you know. Yeah, what, I know that what I. What do you know? This this read, this the results. Man. You took the test before you admitted that you slept with her. There was a different question on the test. Are you willing to take a test I right took now? The test. Are after, you willing to take after, a test right no, now? Listen to me. I took Are the you test willing after. to take the test? So we want to give you a lie detector test and ask you two simple questions. Did you have sex with her more than once? And did you tell her that you were going to leave your wife? Do you want to take that lie detector test? I'm not going to take that lie detector test for oh, my wife. I, 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 I took one for my wife. My wife's going to take one for me before I take another. It's about I don't her. care what y'all want to know what this she did girl right here, what you did with I your I admitted to it. You no, admitted to it. One time, not more yeah, than once. Take the test and prove me wrong. If you all, I already, only I already lost once. my marriage. What the uh, that's what I got to Well, then why'd you admit? You know you slept with her more than once. I slept with her one but time. That's why he's going to take it. the test, Steve, because he knows it's true. What else Let's do the lie detector test right here on stage. I'll answer honest. Did you sleep with this girl more than one time? You are the fuck. Get off my stage. Your husband who married you, who has kids with you, it's his responsibility to be loyal to you, to treat you good, and not to go sleep with anybody he can. I mean, you hear these stories that it's yeah, disturbing. Yeah, I heard a lot he's more trying to sleep with her. Ever... He's trying to sleep with her while he's on the phone with you? Yeah, I heard. And he don't want to take another test because he knows he'll fail it. Of course he's going to fail it. I'm anxious to see the results. I want to hear the results. Those results now. aren't any good, though. Because he's saying before he kept denying, denying, denying. Now he's admitting. We want to ask him two admitting questions. One time, Why won't no. he do it for you? you? Well, first of all, do you really need a lie detector test to know? I that wanted to know if they slept in my home together. 
before they moved out of my house. Yeah, we could, we, we, we could throw that on there too. That's all I wanted. Don't know if they were sleeping together while they were taking care of my children, while she was taking care of my I'm children. I'm gonna take a wild guess here, yes. I believe that. <laughs> oh my God. What do you want to happen now? Maybe Stephanie, if, if, if you promise to control yourself, you know you'll get the truth from Stephanie. You're I've, not gonna I've, from I husband. watched her, so I don't need to talk to her in person. But I, if you want to know, I watched what if she you said and how she she acted with, toward her. If you want to know if she slept with your husband in the house, I'm sure she'll answer it honestly. Do you want her to tell you? <laughs> yeah. Come on out. We're coming out. We're coming out. <laughs> No, 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 no. I know. Stay in between. Now. Okay. I'm right here. You, you and, and now I, you'll answer her honestly, right? Yes. So here's your chance. Here's your lie detector test Can machine right here. Can I say right something here. to her before this even starts? If you be civil. I'll be real civil. Okay. I trusted you living in my home with my children and with my husband as well as myself. Even though me and him had our problems, that wasn't your business that we had problems. How I treated him for how he put me down with name calling. That was my business and my marriage, not for you to sit there and meddle and take advantage of it. Do you understand that part? Yes. I understand you're in love with him, and I've I, I seen that. I'm not stupid. Did you sleep with him in my home? No. We got three questions we, we want to answer, okay? You don't want to take a lie detector test? Doesn't your wife deserve the truth? Let's do the lie detector I test right here on stage. I took care of you. Look, at, look, inside, look inside yourself as a man. And look at everything you've done wrong to her. Just ask, least, ask the three questions. What, what questions do okay. you want to ask? We're going to ask the three ahead. questions. We'll do it again. You're one one for you. One for you. Did you sleep with her husband in her house? No. Okay. She's answering honestly, right? Is, was that an honest answer? Yeah. Okay. Now well, let's see if we get an honest answer from you. See if, how much you respect your wife. Because you won't take the lie detector test, right? Right, so she takes one for me. Okay. I don't so, so I here, took one for her. Just answer honestly. I take another one when she answer takes one for me. honestly. I will. Then. I'll answer honestly. Did you sleep with this girl more than one time? No. That's a lie. Oh. Whatever. I hope the camera just focused Believe on you your want. face right Believe now because you the way you okay, curve her. That's your, se that's your okay. second question. Whatever. Did you ever tell her that you were going to leave your wife for her? No. That's a lie. Oh, jeez. <laughs> now, did you look at his face when he was answering? Did you when see? he initiated sex you with you, what? you should have said, I've been close just... to Sherlita and I couldn't Let do that. Let me ask you, you're you're the you're the examiner here. Did he pass the test? No. She don't care. She's going home. She's going home Did to he our pass kids. The test? I wanna go home, I'm gonna pick my car up, I'm gonna do you this favor. I love you. I wanna be with you. I'm gonna work this out. Now listen, listen to me, listen to me. Listen to me. You listen must be seven other times like okay. this for her. Okay. Okay. Like I said, so why do you keep blaming me for See? me being doing whatever I had okay. to do? Okay, okay. To get over you at what point? Okay. You came back, okay, I took man. you back, let it go. Okay. Cool. Let it go. I took you back still. All right, let's go. We're done. That's all it is to it. I'm so I, I just wanna know. Did he pass the test? No, I'm done. No. I'm off the stage. What part of that don't you understand? I'm done. Then why are you There's still nothing, standing here? I mean, There's nothing left to talk God. about. There's nothing, There's nothing to talk left about. to talk about. She basically Look. gave me detailed information. Okay, so you're going to believe all of that? Pocket, dude. Well, my arms are What the else am I going to do, Charlotte? What else am I going to do? Say what? Speak. You Say can't. What? You can't because it's true. The fact that I told you I only slept with for one time. I got drunk. I slept with for one damn time. Danny, I'm trying not to hit you. Would you walk over there? I'm gonna get in trouble. You're gonna take him back, right? No, no, I can't take him back. I'll, I'll beat the heck out of him. I can't trust him. I, I will walk up on him. You understand? When we land, he's, he's off y'all ground. You get me? But I, I want to know what's what's different this time than the other seven times. What's different now? She spoke up. She wasn't scared. She took it like a woman. So now you know that for sure she, she came out, she told you the truth, mm -hmm. she gave you what you wanted to know. Mm -hmm. So you're saying you're leaving them. I'm saying I am free. You can walk off there. You can walk there. And you know what? You're too young 
too beautiful to be ended up with guys like that. Make better decisions in the future, oh, okay? I will. I pretty much knew he wasn't gonna tell the truth, and it even proved more he wanted to tell the truth when he went take that second lie detector. Charlita, I'm sorry. I love you to death. I love the kids, and I hope you find somebody way better than Danny because you deserve better. And any girl that gets back with Danny if they see this show or even talk to Danny, plain stupid because um, he's gonna lie to you, he's gonna lie to me, he's gonna you know lie to Steve, then he's gonna lie to every girl he's with.